right, so this is a long overdue video because I have the OnePlus Flexi Drive for many years now. I geeked with it, recorded with it, I really like that pedal. But I also have a couple of Martians, namely the Studio Vintage 20 head, the white one, back there for some years. But this is actually the first time I am comparing the two, which you obviously know from the title and the intro. What I presume you're interested in is the signal chain. So let's start in the end. I'm using the same impulse response for both the pedal, both the amp, and that is basically a greenback IR profile from two notes. But I'm not using the torpedo captor, I'm using the Riviera Row Crusher, which you might be able to see back there. So that's my load box that goes straight into the audio interface, which then puts me in logic where I put the IR on the tracks. Again, it's a greenback from, uh, from two notes. Now, regarding the amp, the Marshall Studio Vintage 20, which is uh, basically just a, just a low wattage plexi, but it is a true plexi, a true super lead, so to say. Uh, think of the 1987X or the, or the 1959. Um, it is just cheaper and lower wattage, which is really useful if you're not running uh, an IR or a load box. But anyway, so the settings on the amp, basically I have nothing plugged in. I go straight from the guitar to that amp and all the controls are set to noon except the, the two volumes and obviously I have the two channels jumpered so both volumes count and they are above noon I'd say they are at, I mean six yeah six at the dial but it's one o'clock one p.m. if you uh, if you look at it like that so and that's for the backing and for the solo I turn it up until three o'clock which is basically as I can see eight on the dial so it's it's not full up but in the end of the video uh, you will hear another sample everything timed not just the volumes everything all right and so for the bumper plexi drive i did not use the studio vintage head because i would i think that would skew the results so i i am using my fender 65 deluxe super reissue amp which i'm plugged in currently to show you my bass tone. Alright, so I think it explains my uh, my drive tone versus it with a pedal and obviously I chose the Deluxe Reverb because I wanted like a pedal platform and and I'm running it uh, the volume is so I'm on I'm on the vibrato the bright channel uh, in the first input and then the volume is between four and five, travel is at seven, bass is uh, five. And uh, I think that's basically it. So I'm um, not sure what else to tell. The way I hear it, they, they, they don't sound identical, but they sound very similar. So I think it's a great pedal uh, capturing the essence of a martial sound. So that sort of concludes my, uh, my video, except there's one more thing. I would like to just jam a little bit of Hendrix everything dimed on the amp and let's see what the pedal does if I max it out. So yeah, 